Hello loves, it's Nicole from The Natural Brownies and I'm coming at you with a how to maintain your protective style for Marley Twist. So if you're interested in how I'm going to maintain my style, stay tuned. With my head down, with my head down, I want to feel the breeze with my head down. Okay, as you can see I have Marley Twist in my hair. And if you're not familiar with what Marley Twists are, I'll put a, a link in the description box for a um, tutorial on Marley Twists as well as on my blog post on Marley Twists. So I'm doing this summer of protective styling and throughout, throughout the summer from, I started in uh, May, from May to from May to September, I'm going to be protective styling my hair. And that's just to keep my hands out of my because I have an issue with playing with my hair a lot so it's just something I've made up for myself really and I'm two months into my uh, summer of protective styling and I have one more month left which is August so a few of the styles I've been doing is mostly Marley twists and I've also done a couple updos with my Marley hair and um I just want to keep it rolling so but with my Marley twists I really love them I really love how I can style them different ways I'm loving my bun I've done um a, other other dudes as well However, the way you install your Marley twists is you just twist them in versus as with a single braid, you braid it into your hair. So it, there's less hold onto your hair, so which is good because you don't want pull on your scalp. But also, um, it's loose and it can move away from your hair. For example, here. You can see that it's far away from it, you know, when I started it was down here, but now it's it's pretty far up. And that's not new growth, it's just slid up that way. So that's one negative sign. And also another negative is I'm on no heat, so I don't blow out my hair before I install my twists. Because I don't blow them out, my ends seem to poke out of my twists after a while. Um, let's see if, if you can see back here. So what I'm just going to do, um, I've decided to keep these in for two weeks and this is a week and a half in and I've kept my bun in for a couple of days to kind of elongate and hold off retwisting my hair. I want it to last the rest of the week and I'm tired of wearing a bun so I want to wear it down so that means I'm going to have to retwist some of my Marley twists. So I'm just going to show you how I do that. Okay, I've just taken my bun, I mean, uh, yeah, my bun down, my twist down and um, my bun is just an easy, it's just a wrap around bun with, um, held together with hairpins. Not bobby pins, hairpins. So, I just took it down and as you can see, it has, um, hair poking out all around really. Um, so this one's not that bad actually, but. Anyway, so I have hair poking out, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you um, on a couple of twists how I take it down and how I'm going to um, moisture, re-moisturize it and, um, and use some gel just to tuck my end back. So what I'm going to be using to moisturize my twist is just water and to seal the moisture in I'm going to use some oil and um, you can use any oil that you like best, any oil that works best with your hair. And then when I re go to retwist, I'm going to be using gel. I'm only using water with my moisturizer because I don't want too much buildup because I'm keeping these in for two weeks. It's already been a week and a half. So there's already product in there and I just don't want to make it worse and make my scalp even more um, dirty, even though I'm going to take them out at the end of two weeks and wash my hair anyway. So this is, I took my twist out and it's really loose. I'm going to make sure I can tighten it, but I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is moisturized still. Um, every night I spray it with water and put oil and spray with oil on it, so it's still moisturized. So all I'm going to do is just spray it with a little water directly. Then uh, spray my oil mixture. My oil mixture is jojoba oil and coconut oil. Put a little bit of my scalp there, just rub it in. Um, I have an itchy scalp towards the front of my head um, and a little bit in the middle. And that that's just the area that gets itchy quicker and, um, and flakes quicker. So I make sure I put oil directly on it. So I'm just going to twist it. Anyway, that's my twist. So that's in there. So I'm just going to um, do my other front one. 
see how it's just poking out there. I'm just going to retwist it to ensure that I can wear my hair down for the next couple of days till the end of the week. Another thing I do to help maintain my twists and to keep my scalp from being too, too itchy, because I just naturally have an itchy scalp, so my, I know my scalp's going to get itchy during the, during the week, so it's inevitable. But to help is what I do is I spray my scalp with water, and I make sure to move my twists around so I'm just getting my scalp, well, most of my scalp, because it's a spray bottle, so it's going to go around. Then, once I get on my scalp, I'm going to spray with my oil. And my oil is, yes, in a Shea Moisture <laughs> container. But it's just because I reused it. So I'm going to spray my scalp. And I'm going to concentrate on the parts that are itchy the most. For me, that is the front. In this area. And I'm just going to use the pads of my fingers to rub it in. Okay, I've touched up all the ones that are on the outside and that are on the top that when I pull my hair back, um, those are the ones that are going to be seen and they I don't want them to have hair sticking out. So I've done all those and there's still some that are sticking out but I don't want to spend too much time like this one. It's not too, much, but too bad though. I don't want to spend too much time going back and retwisting them because I'm just going to take them out in a couple of days anyway to um, do my style my hair in a different way. So um, now that that's done, I'm just going to touch up my edges with some gel because I want them baby hairs to lay down. I'm just going to pull all my twists to the back. I'm not going to put them in a ponytail because my scarf is going to hold them together. And I'm just going to lay it down, make sure I lay down. Um, put it down so it covers my edges so it'll hold down the gel. So in the morning I don't have to re-gel. So I just twist it underneath, as you can see, and then I twist it over top, just like this, and tie it there. So, there it is. And I just sleep like that. So it's laid down on my edges. And it'll pretty much stay there. I'm kind of a wild sleeper, so we'll see in the morning. Yeah, but <laughs> anyway, so it should stay there and it'll it'll hold down my edges good enough. Or not. So there you have it. That's how I re-moisturize and retwist my hair so it can stay looking good for the maximum of two weeks. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys. See you in my next vid. Deuces. On a rooftop, on a rooftop. Make sure you